Amy. Hey, Jack. I'm gay. Oh my god, that is so funny. I'm also gay, I was uh, gonna tell you. Wait, really? Yeah. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Dating Straight. Hey, Amy. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hey, hey Ava. Ava. Hi. Uh, welcome to Dating Straight, Ava P. Thanks for having me. Honestly, our most requested guest. Literally. A you lit. are an enigma. Yes. And we finally wrangled her in. Oh, yes. So you're going to hear more than just a sentence today, <laughs> folks. <laughs> um, <laughs> while you're here, Ava, if you could tell everyone to rate, subscribe, leave what a review, review what review would you leave us right now if you were I'm actually a huge fan of the podcast I know like everyone loves to come on a podcast and and say they're a huge fan thank you but I'm yeah. truly a huge fan she's been yeah. there since the beginning I know even. truly truly yeah. yeah uh what would be my comment like yeah if you left a review you obviously would leave five stars but what would you say in your review uh the hosts are really hot uh yep. and they're really funny thank you and they talk about really important funny stuff oh my god um this is um, so it's a podcast serious. that i'm so happy exists wow <gasps> cute remember Thanks. when you guys made out on my birthday yes <laughs> hey over there I remember that beard funny seeing you here have you guys seen each other since that day honestly no, no. no. oh my god is this awkward or uh, a little yeah no <laughs> it's no it's like I'm seeing kidding. an ex it is seeing an ex it's not <laughs> like it is <laughs> But I'm, we're cool. Yeah, I felt very friendly. Yeah, yeah that same. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, hi, everyone. Catch up. Do we all have some things to say today? Honestly, I like texted my manager about this catch up. I asked our producers about this catch up. I, uh, I am afraid to talk about my catch up this week. Yeah, this is maybe like the realest you've ever gotten on the pod. I'm stripped we're down. We're getting realer every app right yeah oh, i hope my parents don't listen to this one um this also has nothing to do with dating again <laughs> i don't date i'm in a i'm in a no dating phase uh -huh. leave me alone please okay um but i guess uh should i should i get started yeah we're waiting <laughs> okay we're sorry, sitting here sorry. patiently <laughs> okay so this is my catch up for this week <laughs> okay this week i did it's a vegetable <laughs> it's, it's a fungi it's a fungi it's um pretty fun guy okay that was terrible i did a drug i did drugs this week and it was so fucking fun <laughs> <laughs> what was it it was or are we keeping that i don't know it, i feel like I. Did it was it a vegetable it was and a, a drug. vegetable okay. and a fun guy and a drug okay work it out yeah ladies Oh, if you're under 18, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really fun. I went to the forest and I um, I ate some some veggie. Uh-huh. Some veg. Some veg. Uh, Made a salad. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I literally, I, I was crying, but like in in a, the, I was laughing so hard that I was just like sobbing. And then I, I like touched my face and I was like, oh. <gasps> I'm crying. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, Good. I yeah, it was Ava saw me in a yeah. in a state. You were having a great time. <laughs> I was. Ha we watched the funniest TikToks, literally <laughs> ever. Alexis Hubbard, shout out, funniest shout out. bitch in the entire world. She was showing us uh, uh, her TikToks and like her likes on TikTok. It was everything. Whoa. What else did I say about it? Um, I like looked at Alexis and her hair was all wet, but it wasn't. Yeah, it, it these was veggies awesome. really make you think, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. the thing is, I did, because you're meant to, I don't know, there's, a, there's an episode of like The Mind Explained on Netflix about uh, psychedelics, and it explains like you can go into it with um, like you can think about like your work and it'll give you like new creative ideas and stuff, but I accidentally didn't i went completely blank everything was blank <laughs> i was just having a great time and crying the just whole time. vibing no fun yeah. in sight just <laughs> i was just, just vibing <laughs> i <laughs> i texted ava and i was like i can't do this anymore and i like threw my phone <laughs> it was it was really it was fun cute ladies it's awesome i feel like it's not so much of like a hard drug like you're like i did drugs I but i feel like no not. things are progressing and like it's being used in therapy like for like real real stuff yeah, yeah. apparently they're, they're working to legalize it in uh 
Col- Oregon or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, and also just vibes, you know? F- <laughs> fuck it legal, like, it Whoa. vibes, right? Fuck legality. Fuck legality? Am I right? No. No cops listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cop in sight. Just, <laughs> just vibe. <it>. <laughs> <laughs> no cops at pride just psychedelic yeah damn anyway i wonder if i'll keep this in or if i'll cut this out <laughs> no i think you should because we all be doing it we all be out here doing hello is that an admission of guilt no <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about but i'm not saying i because i don't know what you're talking about i'm not saying no okay so i'm saying yes okay um <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's go catch up, go. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Okay. <laughs> un- actually, un- we're being real today on the but on the pod. If maybe you don't- stripping down a little too much. Maybe. Maybe you don't want to know below this. Below, if we're stripping down too much. Um. So, if you recall in the last episode, I told about how I uh, hooked up with my enemy. Mm. Um. And down like the next day, he took it too far. Honestly, yeah, I mean, he took he, it too far. Literally, he <laughs> took it way too far. I get a text like t- one or two days later, being like, "Hey, I have some meh news." Like, meh news? It's terrible yeah, news. Yeah, oh, come terrible. On. Just tested positive for gonorrhea. Like, Ooh. hope you don't have it. Oh, blah blah blah. So I sorry. And then he was like, "I understand if we're enemies again." <laughs> So he was like kind of nice about it. Yeah. And I mean he didn't mean it, of course. Like nobody means to have it. No. Um nice that he like gave you that heads up. As yeah. Well. The and right I thing was to like do. I was like, ugh. And then so I immediately ran to urgent care. And then I was like, hey guys. So this is the tea. <laughs> and they were like, OMG. And then they were like, doesn't sound like you have it. I had no symptoms. Okay. Um, and then I like go to Thanksgiving vibing. They said, if we don't call you back, there's nothing wrong. Go to Thanksgiving vibing. Still (laughs) the weekend passes, nothing, no calls. I'm like, no STDs in sight. (laughs) Just (laughs) vibing. Um, How many times can you say vibing while you have vibe? (laughs) Yeah. Honestly, it was a fucking vibe. Um, (laughs) And then I went to, or I was driving back home from San Diego and I get a call. On the like, way to school. Hi, this is Dr. Blah, blah, blah. We need to t- talk about your results. Sad. And I was like, hello, Dr. Blah, blah, blah. Spill. And I already was like bracing myself. Yeah. Um, big G. And then they were like, you have double Gs. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you have the big G. Uh, and I was like, oh, no. And they were like, you need to get a shot in your ass. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and I, then I was like, fuck, because I'm... A crazy hypochondriac. I hate shots. I hate needles. Mm. But I went in like an adult. <laughs> she said, take your pants down and get on the bed. I did. Womp. And it wasn't wow. so bad. It wasn't so bad. So. Did your enemy pay for that shot? I texted him and said. You sent him an invoice? No, I didn't. But I said, like, How much hey, I it? did have it. Uh, fuck you, basically. No, not like that. I was like. <laughs> And hello, enemy. Yes, I did have it because I wanted him to know that it was from him. Yes, yes. Um, Disaster. And it was fifty bucks. Um, wow, he should honestly Venmo you. Yeah. Um. But anyway, got a shot. Now I'm all fixed. Um. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Yeah. It was super easy. I just wanna wanted to say, everyone, go Be get stigmatized. checked. Be stigmatized. Yes. It's normal. Yes. It's easy to cure. It's literally a vibe. <laughs> and, it's and just web like, protection you know it's part of stay safe yeah, it's just a sex. part of like gay life and the big g i've accepted it raise your hand if you've ever had the big g this was my first time it was <laughs> and i thought i've had i've thought i've had it before but i haven't but i finally got it right when i least expected it. <laughs> beautiful and from your enemy and scene <laughs> <laughs> Ava, please tell us about, oh, your last night. You were going to tell me about a, a, a king princess running, <laughs> were you? Um, big, the big K? Yeah, I'm not like, <laughs> it was a, it was like a, it was a small moment, but. Um, tell, tell us in at the, detail. Okay, I was at the L Word premiere and, uh, oh, am I close enough yeah, to this yeah, mic? Yeah, Thank yeah. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was at the L Word premiere yeah. and uh, 
where I'm like like really close to the bar and I look over at the bar and King Princess is like doing like the sexy dance on the bar. On the bar? Like it was on the bar? Kind of like up against the bar. Oh my god. Okay. And Whoa. then she just like is locks eyes with me like out of nowhere <gasps> like I, she wants your ass no i wouldn't say that um, i would say that I yeah would, i bet but she I just would heard. want but your I just ass heard, yeah why wouldn't she um but she's like and then she's like doing this dance lock locked eyes with me and i'm just, ass like, wanted she it was intimate it was intimate <laughs> so i had i had to just like i laugh like i just like had to like it was like well, literally wanted had dead or alive laugh. ava's i ass. think <laughs> i think it was like more like she has a very like doesn't give a fuck energy and that's what like it felt like. But oh then, my God, did you guys like exchange numbers? Did you no, go home together? Not at all. Yes, it was like brief, but there was like she definitely like then after that was like we like locked eyes and she like walked up to me, <gasps> and then we were just like I don't know this like is nothing. Wattpad. <laughs> <laughs> this Literally, is Wattpad moments right here. Yeah. So they like it was like nothing. Like we it was like we just like it was kind of loud. So we were just like uh, exchanging a few words. Like and then what? she's like, why are you here? She said like, hey, she, she was like, got, she got pretty close to me. And she's like, why are you here? And I'm like, because I'm really cool and important. Why are you here? <gasps> and she like thought about what? it. And she's like, Damn. same. Ooh. And then. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, this is oh God, I'm This is Wattpad. Yeah. Like literally Harry Styles. <laughs> and then, and then she talked about, uh, she knew my friend Jill uh yeah. and Gutowitz, mm. iconic a twitter she's yeah. got a great twitter uh and knew her from that and i think jill interviewed her and then so then we were all talking about gagged and gooped or gooped and gagged mm. which i learned like about last phrases i didn't know i the knew drag, like gagged drag phrases but basically uh-huh. like she explained yeah yeah, yeah. she's like they're, they're not, it's not it's not mine but she she explained the meaning of it <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm learning. I feel like I nice. get it a little bit. Wow. That's yeah. cute. Oh my god. And then you went home together or what? No, no, <laughs> oh, no. It was brief. It was brief. I actually have had a King Princess run in. Do you, you guys know have? this? No. On the way to Coachella, um oh. I stopped at an In and Out. Yeah. Was she performing? No. At Coachella, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um and I stopped in an In and Out and then I was waiting in line to pee because I really had to pee. Mm. And then I was first in line and then Miss princess comes <laughs> up out of the blue and like not to me but like to no one really yeah but just like to the air she goes uh i really have to pee and then looks at me damn and i look at her <laughs> and she looks at me like she's expecting me to be like okay you can go first did you yes oh uh, okay. uh, whatever <laughs> And I was no, like, fine, you Whatever. can go He's first. Fine. And then she went first and she was like, thanks. And then I was like, okay, princess. <laughs> king. <laughs> okay, king. But, um. Wow. Yeah, so you she, both have flirted. She, it king was kind princess. of a weird flirt. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was kind of like, you know, like enemy flirting. Mm. Frenemies. We were frenemies. That's your thing. Jack. Yeah, that like, is I your feel thing. Like that, You're that does like enemies. Work. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's kind of sounds like what you were doing, you know? It was like who's more famous and important. It was a definitely fight. Definitely her. It was a fight. <laughs> she definitely wins. I don't know. You've been requested to be on a podcast like many times, and I've never heard King Princess. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Well. Oh wait. Should we talk about our Thanksgiving together? Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about it? Yes. Ava and I had Thanksgiving together. So sorry, you weren't invited. It was very sweet. <laughs> 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 yes, it was so fun, and I got leftovers, yeah. and I ate them all. And you learned about, do you want to talk about what you learned about? Massaging kale. Massaging kale. You didn't know about that? No, I even massaged some today, bitch. I know, you've been on the grind. <laughs> I have been on my kale grind. <laughs> all I did, every, I mean, everyone was cooking all day, except me. I was just, they put me in charge of the kale, and then I massaged <laughs> all the kale, mm-hmm. and then um, we ate. It? And I've been massaging kale ever since. You have to. Essential. You literally have to. It it's was everything. Cardboard if you don't. I mean, yeah. So. So, okay, cool. So did so were you, was your family um accepting of having Amy here? Yeah, yeah. What they Amy say about has me. like a relationship with my family. Oh like, yes. Should we, <laughs> oh yes. We like, go way back. Way me and back. Michael. Yeah. Mr. Bella Amy. Bella? Amy. And my dad like text. We like, text. They text <laughs> like on Why? the reg. Well, Ava gave me my first cat, Max. 
Oh, yeah, it was a stray. Yes, Kitchen story. he was a stray that Ava found in her backyard. And um, they would feed him food. He was, like, injured he and abandoned. Yeah, and, like, so little and He's skinny. He's so cute. He's so Look cute. Look at him now. <laughs> He's a big chunky. Chunky, <laughs> <laughs> chunky, <man>. chunky mama. <laughs> yeah, so Ava and... Her dad mostly, yeah, yeah. I feel like. Maybe a little bit of Mrs. Powell's a little yeah, up and down. Right. Yeah. Um, they would feed him every day mm-hmm. and then um they, they named him Trevor. And then I was in the market for a cat. And so I went over to Ava's house and I, I looked at this little kitten and he's so cute. So that's my chonky boy. <laughs> and I said, Yes, I will take that chunk. Thank you. <laughs> so one night we went over there and and Whoa, your mom, I remember she was so sad. She was so sad. She was like, because I asked if I could come get him the day before, and she was like, No, you have to wait until I'm home. <laughs> so I was like, Okay. And so I went over there and they were all like huddled around him, like saying their goodbyes. But he honestly, he lives it up on the daily at oh, my house. Oh, he's a lucky cat. Yeah. Like your cat's lucked out. Runs my household for sure. And yeah, that's how I got my first cat. It's such a sweet origin story. I, I know. Love, it's I love so it. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he has like many a sibling still out back. Oh, um, yeah. It's a whole thing. Like, like every few months or so there'll be like new kittens born yeah. on my yes. on my property because Ka- his mom max's mom like she she re-emerged after some time and i honestly think the last like kitten batch was like probably like one of max's like siblings or like cause uh, that was like half. having the baby because like, it looked like a different mom oh my but i God. think it's like they they were like raised in my backyard so they like know that it's a safe place to like have kittens so cute yeah it is cute anyway (laughs) (laughs) um (laughs) so hi ava hi how are you yeah how are you thanks for having me of course thank you so much for coming on okay so i want to start diving into what the show is about which is relationships dating and such Mm. you have dated men Yes. Before. Many men or a couple kind men? Kind of, a couple men. Like, I haven't dated many people. So. Mm-hmm. You're a long-term girl. Yeah. yeah. Are you, like, a relationship type? Not, like, serial. Like, I know some other people that are, like, it's aggressive. But, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I definitely like, like, you a, take, like a year intimate connection. Like, I'm definitely, like, a looking for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so tell us about <laughs> your history with men. Yeah. <laughs> tell us about it. Ugh. Wow. So I've dated like so many men. No, uh, but <laughs> Literally. You've dated I, more men than I I definitely have. think that like I was like when I tell stories like, and I think back about like my time dating men or just like before, uh, I was such a savage. Like I was so I feel like I was constantly in love triangles. Like, oh, my God. And not because like I am mean. Like I was always very, I think, <laughs> kind to everyone involved. Yeah. But I, I would just like wake up and I'd be like, mm, my heart's leading me this way. Like Whoa. things just like didn't feel as. And High then stakes I'm, or something? Yeah. And I was I was like was it just was it was different. It's definitely it, it was different. Um, And so I definitely like have just so many. I have so many love triangles and then they would just like stick around (laughs) would you give them like a little nugget and i never and then like sway away well the thing is like i like there was like a little something i liked in them all but i think it would just be like oh and then i'd like someone else and then i couldn't really decide a lot of the time you're (laughs) my worst nightmare yeah literally my worst nightmare oh i realized like now that it was brutal but i was always like really like honest and nice about it so i think like no one like hates me like yeah i'm friends nice. with all of my exes uh so i think that that's what is that like <laughs> it's honestly crazy i find it to be like kind of rare like it totally rare. My, yeah like i th- i mean i can't think of i can't think of anyone who's like actually like pretty tight with because i know that you go to like dinners with your exes and yeah. stuff like that yeah like kind of like and i hang out like one-on-one with like most of them they're like dear friends of mine oh my god yeah so i think that that i think that like, that's like a cool accomplishment so but cool. is it are you just stringing them along further now like do they think that you Ooh, are gonna go back that, to them and that's yes. why they want to hang out with Ooh, you oh my god good Thank question you. i don't think so <laughs> i think that they've like i think that they're i mean like probably maybe some 
part of them maybe but I think that also there's something like when you like someone like and you like hanging out with them and just because you weren't meant to date doesn't mean you don't like appreciate them as a person and I think if you're able to like end a relationship without or like even just not involve like any toxicity in a relationship like how do you how did you how do you do that I don't I don't know I have like a pretty good record and it's of like non-toxic yeah chemicals in your relationship (laughs) I think when I was really young, my mom was like, Ava, you have to, if someone likes you and you don't like them back, you still have to be nice to them. And then I was like, she was all, and she was like very serious about it. She's like, lots of people like you and you're not going to like them all back and you you have to be nice. And that always like, and that just like extended to like, you know, when a relationship was ending or anything like that, like that it's just like. You can't, it shouldn't be mean to people when like matters of the heart, like I think. And mm-hmm. that, totally. So. That's a good problem Because it's easy to, to cause if too you're in, people like me, if you're in pain, so nice. no, 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 it's like, no, no, no. when you look like that, you gotta know, be nice. You are stunning. No, yeah. No. Oh yeah. Did you had like a different like life than us? No offense. Like she's just what like you, a model you, person. No. What are you talking I about? Like, I had the same <laughs> life. <laughs> I feel like what people, are people just like, do I feel like people might bend over backwards for you or like at a coffee shop do people like buy your coffees hit on you like how does that Come go up to you out no. of nowhere yes. definitely yes I've like started you get, like, like kind of like a thing or some a relationship with people like have just come up to me in a coffee shop really wow. yeah wow so it does what so all it takes to, when people are like how do you meet someone off of an app all it takes is being beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yes oh okay now I'll we try know that. Now I'll we- try that <laughs> I'll be beautiful. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> wow. Um, no, no, no. It's a great no, skill. No, it's a thinker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing skill I mean, to have. I asked people on Twitter like to ask questions about you, and a lot of them were just like, how are you so beautiful? So it, it we all I know it. I really like do so little. Like, no, I can't say that now. <laughs> no. It's going to be like I don't do any like my She maybe. doesn't. She but came that's over. the best part is that you're like naturally – like you're cool still, you know, you're down to earth. Anyway, yeah, this we gotta be making you like go. I know I would die if I yeah, were you. Yeah, they're okay. all just like about you being so pretty. We had to, we had to had bring, to bring it, it up. Had to bring you, we it up. can't pretend that nobody was saying this. <laughs> You know, yeah, we and that we don't think this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have we've sworn to always tell our truth. Yeah, yeah. And that's so. my truth. Okay, well, I'll write that down. Get plastic surgery. <laughs> um... <laughs> It um, comes but, from within. But it really, I do want to talk really more about. I do want to talk more so about ugly within. Is no, no, no. Like. I meant yeah. like beauty, beauty in general. We knew concept. that. Hmm. We knew that. Yeah. Well, I think also, just not to hype you up more, but <laughs> do it. Like I think the part of you that's so endearing is that you are so beautiful, like a beautiful presence to be around. Down. To which us. I think is almost more just like makes the physical appearance look beautiful. So it's not true. even like. Like, I don't know. I mean, if I saw a picture of you and didn't know you, you'd still be pretty. But like, be- when I see you in person, it's because you like exude something that I don't have. So <laughs> that is so nice, Jack. So, but maybe that's what we all need to work on is just like being Radiant. carefree, fun, <laughs> lo- you know, vibing. <laughs> Oh my god, you, that was that was. Very anyway, sweet. Ava fan clubs. Yeah, sign, off, sign off in the comments below. I don't know what took We're over the me there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You just, just had to tell you. Allotted with Ava. Okay. I mean, listen, Ava and I have history for sure. I mean, you do. Wink, wink, wink. Fully like locked eyes across this table right now. We have to. If only, if only they could see. I do have to say <laughs> that, like, sometimes in this studio. You have to flirt with people a little bit because it's like. You think? Who have you flirted with thus far? Nick Vile. No, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that. You would. I literally haven't. That first episode, I was like, I literally was uh, like, don't look at me. In your actual dreams. Okay. Oh wait, I actually. Oh my god, I never said this. What? I think maybe I did. I had a dream about kissing Nick Vile. Anyway, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Take over, Amy. I'm sweating. <laughs> Okay, Ava, when I called you and asked you to be on this podcast, yeah. I asked you, are you out? <laughs> and you gave the funniest answer. Do you want me to give it? Please. Out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nervous. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea if I'm out or not. I, so, something tells me that you are. It feels like I am. It but feels like I just are, don't know when never it said happened. it. Yeah. Said what? Just kidding. I know. <laughs> That's what I also like about the way this conversation is going. It's still like, hmm. Yeah, yeah. What do you, do you how do you identify, honey? Uh, oh my God. Wow. You also don't have to get into no, it. No, no, I love this. It. Like, I feel like this was something I was like weirdly holding on to for no reason at all. Mm. Not in my personal life, but like in just Pause. like a public statement uh, sort of way. So this is a public statement. <laughs> I'm, literally, I'm honestly glad it's your podcast because I definitely was like, oh, I want to. But I think times have changed so much that it's not as like i mean like i think we from when i was haven't said anything no <laughs> they know what we're i'm like, talking my, about the psa is that ava is <laughs> silent <laughs> ava is coming out as <laughs> and i'm so proud to be <laughs> ava um, oh my god well, where was i <laughs> Why are we all like so nervous about this? We're all like smiling, giddy, and looking around. Um. Anyway, I like. Why do I feel like this is like years ago? And I'm like, uh, uh, um. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Like, I. How do I identify? How as hot? <laughs> I um definitely like. It's interesting because. Wow, I think it's a toughie. Should I? You don't have to let hey <laughs> should we move on i feel like bad because this is like so much you'll have to like cut probably like no, time. no this is exciting uh, yeah is the, the honestly expense. it's a build up oh um i identify as i like to like queer like i like like that like Woo! ava came out wow. ava just came out oh my god i'm so proud yeah. of you <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Is this going to affect our friendship, you think? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Cute, Ava. Oh, Thanks. Ava. A little queer. <laughs> <laughs> Flay. Feels like, yeah, wow. I am I like so... I feel like it, it was something that like, I was like, I don't know. And then it just came, it was like, uh, it Were didn't feel like a like secret. and stuff like that? No, honestly, like I, I, I think I was like, oh, it'd be cool to like, just like be in control. Honestly, this is like a cool way to like be in control of the narrative. But I was like, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just like do it later. Like I just won't like comment publicly. Uh -oh. But it was never on purpose, on. and I was never like doing anything differently. We're all holding hands now. <laughs> well, the... you have like a lot of um, you you've played a few gay roles. I've yeah, noticed absolutely in your time. Yeah, because you just like exude queerness. Yeah. Is that what it be? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> is it more exciting to play? Gay roles or yes. straight roles? Um, I love both. Uh, I've had, honestly, like the last role I played was straight, and it was like one of With, my um, best experiences. Um, Moises. Yes. Arius. Yes. 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 And his brother, wow. Mateo. Um, they're both fantastic and so talented. Um, yeah. Oh my God. And, famous. and this will come, when will this come out? Like after? It'll come out on Tuesday. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> No. Well, oh. when no, you're going to Sundance. Yeah, I was gonna say, Am but it, it gets no, it gets announced tomorrow. So <gasps> oh, it just cool. like, oh my god, it'll it's come out. It. So yeah, I shot this like film in Atlanta. This is so, like, uh, and it's called Blast Beat, uh, with the Arius brothers, uh, and they play brothers in it, and it's and, and it's and it's steamy, premiering at Sundance, you and that's like really scene, no, we uh, yeah, Mateo and I have a pretty steamy scene. Whoa, yeah, right, Whoa. and I. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> premiering at sundance that's a big deal yeah it feels like super surreal like it's so i'm just so used to everything i do like not being released or well actually for <laughs> being <laughs> bad we, it, hey don't say that about don't my that. favorite movie that i paid for to <laughs> own it's called no no <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember what it was called but it's what? it's on amazon it's just so not important to to promote <laughs> you're in a, in a movie it's it was something and it was really fun to watch with like a, a group of our friends. Yes. Okay. It was. It was really fun. Um, I don't know what it's called, but Ava's gay in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. If you like, if you'll you like, like figure Ava out. Yeah. Gay, like you can like decrypt this. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, you can, you can find it. Um, but yeah, that's like a movie <laughs> I did a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We've, 
we really this I, I, does anyone else feel tense in here right now i know i Some feel tension? a little sweaty i'm full of sweaty. i'm sweaty too and i'm wearing i think we're all shirt. wearing sweaters we're wearing like a lot of layers for but i can't take my hat off because my hair is dirty okay that's okay and i can't take my sweater off because then it would ruin my outfit so your body's dirty because <laughs> my body's dirty. well now it is because i've been so sweaty <laughs> <sighs> i feel like actually that's one of the reasons though that everyone is so infatuated with you ava is that like you nobody knows like what you really be she's an enigma yeah it's like when we were it's oh okay it's like when we used to hang out with j pan <laughs> i i say used to hang out with but um she's around <laughs> she's around um <laughs> that's because everyone was like oh she, this is a, a person who like never speaks and like so is ava kind i feel of. like i speak more than j-pan and yeah, j-pan yeah. person will, will speak uh, of course yeah, of course yeah, yeah. she was like a little shy in front of the cameras but um what was i saying but we've done videos together we've done tiktoks together yeah i Ava's- love our like the first one we did together like on the street man on the street one I know. I want to do that again. That. I had so much for exes. Because you were like, be my video. And I'm like, I don't know what this will be like. But like, yes. It was so <laughs> fun. And I loved it. I loved it. Wait, yeah. Can we address the rumors about yeah. you two? Mm. So the rumors are that you might have, first of all, a thing. Second of all, might be a thruple. Yeah. Um, and yes. Third of all, might be sisters. Yes. Wow. <laughs> So we are what? all of those feeling things. pretty naked and exposed. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ava, do you do you like me like that, Amy? Open up. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, and you know that. So, but like that, yeah, like you that. love you, and do you, you know like, that. Like me, or I do think, you like? Like, me? I think there's so many different ways to like people. Like, <laughs> are we like romantically <laughs> in love? Down easy. <laughs> yeah, when she said like when you don't like someone, but you have to be <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> but like you. Is that what's happening? <laughs> I mean, I but I, yeah, I don't know, and I feel like they're you know that doesn't get like like in the English language. Well, in the in the English language. <laughs> I, I just thought that I butchered that word and I wanted to Brain repeat it. Here, I'll start over so you can edit it. In the English language. <laughs> We're not going to do that. <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. There's like one word for love and like in Greek, yada, yada. People have probably heard this. There's like five different ones that represent like friendship, love and familial oh, yeah. love. It's really Eros cool. Is one Seems one. like she's letting me down easy. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing a dumping. A dumping <laughs> The answer today. is yes, I love you. I just got <laughs> I just like want to like frame that properly for the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I just okay. wanted them to know how much I love Amy, you. <laughs> Amy, do you love me? Yes. Yay. I do love you. Of course I, I know, love you. I, I don't think that like romantically we could ever work. Yeah. Unfortunately. Scorpio energy. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Jack, do you see us getting together at any point? Um, I don't think so. I, I think, think I'd be too toxic. I <laughs> was about to say, I just think it would fail. And then I think you wouldn't be able to be friends. Even though you're good at being friends with your exes, Amy isn't. Amy isn't. So <laughs> it would turn yeah. into a bit of a mess, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mm-hmm. feel like the... Not you just it. like need different things from people. And I feel like we don't, like, I feel like we wouldn't be that for each other. No. I feel I, like I, I really, I love the relationship the way it is. And totally. I think- <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Wait, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I had a question. And before I forget it, so you are friends with all your exes. Yes. Did it take, like, did you have to take a year off before you Definitely guys like, with were friends or? My last ex boyfriend, there was like just a little time that we like, you know, before we like got like super friendly, um, but like how long? Because you guys long. dated for like two year, year, one year, a year. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't remember how long exactly from like the get go of like us realizing we were breaking up. Uh, he was like, "Let's be friends." Uh, it was like it's super important to me, and so I was like, "Okay." Um, and I think that like he might have jumped the gun on like how easy that would be for him okay. um, and like everything. But then I think he like just like some time went by and like I think that. Was it kind of easy for you? Were you like, yeah, whatever. Bye. Um, I think that I needed like a certain amount of space, but I definitely wanted that. And I think I think it's just something we both wanted. Like, I think it depends on whether you end in a space where you have like mutual love and respect for each other. And like, I think that like once you like 
detach because when you date someone for that long you like you're just everything in each other's lives and yeah. then like if you're able to like detach spend a little time then you can like be like oh okay like let's reshift this like how we see each other like how we interact and like you know you don't have to throw someone aside just because they no longer fit that role in your life different mm-hmm. types of love in yeah fact. yeah 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 totally hmm well what well, i wanted to talk about when you said i think you and amy well you said you and amy have different needs <laughs> what do you think all of us round yeah. table what do you think mm-hmm. you need in a relationship or partnership okay f- i definitely like need need and like does yeah like a high level of communication mm-hmm. um i think that's something i'm very good at and i've like really value in a partner or someone who's like down to do it with me like um and i just i think that's so important and it's kind of a a must have yeah on my end um i don't just like honesty communication i question sometimes because i really like communication too but sometimes a little bit like i don't know if you find this but a lack of communication is a little bit fun because you kind of get to like (laughs) yeah you think about it more and you're like it's more of a cat and mouth not in like a long term for sure yeah 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 kind of like um but long-term partnership like i think that rules change Mm -hmm. and like what works changes like honestly like reeling someone in or just like dating and having fun like it's fun to be coy it's fun to like you know not give all the information but i think once you're like oh like how do i be a partner to someone like communication and like a lot of it is important because you don't have that cat and mouse chase anymore yeah exactly and it's about like feet like and like really just like understanding that feelings are like they're not rational and it's okay to like you know just because you do something and it hurts it affects someone negatively doesn't mean it was wrong but you have to acknowledge how it makes someone feel Mm -hmm. and just like that practice of like no feeling is stupid yeah um and a lot of the time people are afraid my friends constantly to go to their partners and be like they're gonna it's so stupid they're gonna think it's stupid and but they're like like, freaking out on the phone to me and i'm like tell them how you feel like you shouldn't be afraid of your partner yeah and like it, why are we calling feelings stupid? Like, yeah, it's irrational, but you should share. <laughs> I think it's unnecessary. I don't think you should be nervous about this, but maybe you can learn something about why you're feeling that way if yeah. you open up about what you're feeling. And then you need a partner who's also able to f- take your feelings and not get defensive or anything and just take them as they are and be like, I hear that you're feeling this way. Like, let's talk about it. And then, yeah. Wow. You're woke. I know. Yeah. I'm like, I have no idea what What I, do you need? Like, I, no one, I think I just need to be alone. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. Cause I can't even put my head, <coughs> I can't even put myself in the headspace of like being in a long term partnership right now. I'm just not at all prepared for that at all. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i, I feel need. like queen you got like it's things like take time to get in that space like mm. you i feel like you're not in that space at all because <laughs> you've like just gone through something so you need to like feel the waves and mm. stuff of like i need more single friends mm. is what i need mm-hmm. so i understand that that's my needs it's in a relationship some- <laughs> i understand that though sometimes when you have too many couples friends it's just like you don't get to have that um, carefreeness or like you're never not that it's a bad thing because if you have a partner like they should be your first choice. They should be your first priority like when you're together. Mm. But like when you're single, you want to have other single friends who you can be each other's first priority. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. That's like um, how Jack and I are together. We're mm-hmm. like an old married couple. Yeah, we prioritize each other when we're together, I think. Well, <laughs> Amy, you're not single friends are so fun. <laughs> Are they not? Come on. No, they are so fun. I mean, all of my friends are so fun. That's why we're friends. Yeah. I just need like Well, there's new... room for both. There's yes. it's not like get no, but rid it's, of. It's not yeah. even it's not even like I I guess I let me rephrase that. I don't even need single friends. I need like new energy. A yeah. mix of interesting people. Yeah. Of different scenarios. Yes, I need yeah. a diverse friend group. <laughs> yes. Yes. I would yes. Yeah. I just want like new vibes, I yeah. think. Have you thought about like doing a hobby and like meeting people that way? I have thought about doing a hobby. You I, did improv and I met, I have a lot of good friends. I was like my best friends. I actually want to go back to improv 2020. Yeah, you should. Honestly, improv is not, I mean, it's, it can be good for things, but like the best thing I found it for it's was like community. People, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. I want to do something like outside of my yeah. zone. Your so that's YouTube what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, it's good so to do that. Improv 2020. <laughs> That's what you need in a relationship is improv. <laughs> <laughs> if my partner can't, yes, and. Yes, and <laughs> it's over. They're out of there. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. What do you need, honey? Yeah, 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 what do you need? Jackie boy, not gonorrhea. Jesus. <laughs> gone. That's gone. Aria. I don't know. <laughs> no, anyway. No, no it was, like literally that. was. Yes, and. <laughs> um, I think I need. It's hard because I. When someone comes on too strong and likes me too much, I kind of freak out. But I oh, no. still do need a high level, I think, of reassurance. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a hard time believing someone likes me if when they like me you know what i mean Aww. um so i think i need a bit of like s communication communicating to I, like i need to be like hey i'm kind of feeling like e i don't know like if you feel i don't know and then i need someone to be like broski you're bomb you know like mm. to like really say it but not too much N i guess <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know. In the beginning, I think not too much. But eventually, once I... I think when the right person is, like, that strong. I think maybe you've been getting like that, that, like, strong energy from people that are, like, don't feel. Like, that you don't reciprocate. I think if someone that you That's really true. reciprocated gave you that energy... That's true. That it, well, would, and it, it would feel and different. It's, and it's great when that happens mm -hmm. until then they and it, decide yeah. that they no longer... <laughs> yeah. But that's the way dating is. That's yeah. the vibe. Yeah. But, yeah, I value right reassurance. Person. Scary. I have to, oh, and it doesn't have to be also with words. It can be touch, you know, like putting your hand on you, like when you're out and about and like, I don't know, something like that, you know? Yeah. Mm. That's important to me. Totally. You, have you guys gotten into like the five love languages? We have a little yeah. bit. What What are y'all love languages? Is, are we, do we have time for this? <laughs> We've yeah, got we have time. Whenever we want. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I Physical think, touch. Definitely the one that I like give is acts of service, like more than anything. Oh. Uh, I think like my dad was very much like, I felt like like that's how I received love as a child and like that's how I show it a lot. Um, but like, like I love them all except gifts. I don't care. Yeah, gifts. Gift. I feel like everybody. Like, obviously I gift. like a gift. Like I love things that are free, but like <laughs> does it make me feel loved? Like no. That the Theragun that that I got for your birthday. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't make you feel loved? Not the same way like when you give me a little a little brush, brush on the shoulder. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's not in like I've I've had that in relationships where I had an ex who I think definitely like gave mm. love in gifts and I could see that like his mom did that and like that's the way he grew up and so I just like had realized that like and it, it's nothing against him because he definitely was like I love this person. This is how you show it. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's how he was, like, it's just, like, his way of using it. And so, like, if you're in a relationship and you really, like, want to, like, deepen it or, like, be a good partner, like, it's good to find out, like, what works and what doesn't and, like, mm -hmm. what has value. Because um, yeah. you can feel like you're loving someone to the full extent and they could be, like, this person, I don't, like, doesn't care about me. Yeah. Or you're, like, receiving it. In a someone, like, they could want a card or they could not, they would want, like, a creative gift. Like, you just have to, yeah. Um, it's super interesting stuff. I Jack, know. what about you? My love language? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what did we say? Quality like time, I yeah. think, is my big one. Yeah. I like to be able to have someone who I can, like, spend, like, a full day with, you know? Um, which I think everyone likes that, of course. But I think I value that because... I don't know. Oftentimes I do feel lonely. I like get lonely and especially in a big city, it's really, I think, easy to feel lonely. So I think that's what I value the most. Babe, come over when you feel lonely. Well, not in like a <laughs> bad way, but like in a, you know, it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. yeah. yeah. You should get and a cat. For sure. No. Ava has a stash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In Ava her has backyard. a Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess mine would be. What, what did we say they were going? I was like, there's quality time, physical touch, acts of service. I like gifts, physical touch, words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Oh, well, that's Ooh, big one for me too. I like words of affirmation only if I like the person. If mm -hmm. I don't like them, then no thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then it's like, why are you affirming yeah, yeah, yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You right. You right. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's, that's what I'm into. Oh. Oh. 
This has gotten deep. This is like yeah. a tender episode. We're cute. I know. Whatever. I know. We're cute. Should we answer some advice questions and like fuck people's lives up? Like yeah. That, or? So we posted today on the Dating Straight Instagram and Twitter, go follow, um, that you should send us all your problems yeah. <laughs> and we will try and fix them. Because clearly... Um, Ava, Ava has some Ava can fix some no, no, no. wokeness here. <laughs> she has a lot to say. Yeah. She has a lot of experience. So I think we have this is will be a good um, string of questions to answer. Mm. Okay, and give advice on. Oh, okay. Goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at the first one. Me too. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Read it. Okay. My girlfriend is mega clingy, <laughs> but I love her. What should I do? Damn. Um, maybe like talk about, I feel like all my answers are going to be like, God, you got to talk about it. Like, yeah. I think that that might be an issue of like people's needs. Like some people want more space. Some people really want intimacy and like need that all the time. Like, and then it might be like coming from something. So like even just having that conversation might like really relieve a lot of it where or reveal why she feels insecure. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And like, maybe there's things that like, uh, you could do like maybe if you like didn't hang out as much but like they texted you and like they were like or like you know maybe you spent less nights together but they always like texted you good night like whatever you need to like make you feel secure but like also you shouldn't be like she's mega clingy like you shouldn't like f- that's like a, such a negative yeah. word for someone think of it love. as like she loves me Extra so loving. much <laughs> Yeah. And I'm not sure if I (laughs) can reciprocate that for her. Yeah. Or she wants to spend more time than I do. And I can give. Yeah. It doesn't mean you don't love her or like her. It's just like there's different. There's like things just to to compromise on. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm as as someone who is sometimes mega clingy. (laughs) um, I think just a simple like text that says like, hey, I can't today. Like I can't really text all day today because I feel like that's a big clingy sign is when they just want to text all day yeah. and just being like, Hey, I'll see you tonight. Or like, you know, set a plan. So they have security in that. Mm. And then they won't maybe feel as insecure throughout the day. You know, that's true. That's a good one. Like set a plan. I feel like it's always a great way to make someone feel more secure. Yeah, totally. That's good advice. Yeah. Good job guys. Amy? I mean, I don't fucking know. <laughs> 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 Just here for the ride. Yeah. I'm like, I'm taking notes. I'm yeah. listening. You guys are giving some good advice. Good job, everyone. Okay. Is it okay to ghost people? Ooh. Ooh. This Who's not guilty of it? And it's, it wasn't until I was, I ghosted for the first time. <gasps> Just only happened once. Oh my God. <laughs> um, that I was like, this is what it feels like. It's this is what's tough, happening. Tuffy. Um, and like, I think, yeah, it's so wrong to do, but I under, I mean, obviously I understand it. It's just like something that everyone does. I've ghosted a couple people in my time. Yeah. But I've never been ghosted It was before. because I just didn't know how to, so you just don't know how to, it's such a hard thing to do. Like, and I think it actually, people think it's harder than it is. It's actually no, not it's hard. so hard, no, it's you not. guys. It's I'm really, really just difficult. Like, but you just have to like do it. It's not hard at all. It's I text so... people all the time being like, hey, <laughs> you're cool, but no thanks. Uh, and honestly, it's way better that way. Isn't that like gut wrenching though? For them or for me? For you. I mean, before I send the message, I'm like, oh, I hope they don't feel bad. But then I remember After, like they will yeah. feel worse if I don't respond yeah. or start being weird. There are a few times when I like should have just sent to like, hey, like, you know, not a good time. Yeah. Text, and I never did, and instead I just ignored it, and I was like, oh, oh it would have been. But I it, at the time it was like I can't look at this. Yeah, like, and, yeah. Okay, and what's worse than ghosting is like a soft ghosting where you like send a few words and then like reply every now and then because intermittent. What is it? Uh, Fasting. <laughs> no. Um, inconsistent reward. Yeah. Oh. That is the worst. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think it's way better just take the bandaid off like and after like a couple dates someone's not like in love with you unless you string them along 100 percent. so if you just tell them they'll get over it way faster and i think it's way worse if they're like uh what it was just like it yeah i think it's ruder than like and you can like make something up like you they're just like something that it's like hey like this is not happening yeah you can totally and make something instead up. of like the question mark or something yeah. but also don't be like hey i can't do this right now because then it turns into like a will when will you be ready but if yeah. anyone ever said that to me i'd be like they're not interested yeah yeah take yeah, a hint true, true, but true, true. yeah i say pull the band-aid off but i mean 
it's not okay to ghost people, but we all do it. But just try and change your ways. Yeah. But, okay. oh, my dad actually just told me a story how, because I always was like, ghosting is so bad in this day and age because of like easy dropping people or whatever, you know? It's mm, like, yeah. But back in the day, like my dad was a fucking baddie <laughs> and would just like not call girls back. And oh that was the God. same thing, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. Like not break up with them and just never call them back. Yikes. So, like, and it's then, always like, been back in the day, like, they were probably like waiting by the phone. Like, yeah. there was like no answer. Well, like, you have no way to whole... see them again unless you like show up outside their door. Oh my God. So, wow. Damn. Maybe well, that's even now. more explainable. Savage. Like, if someone doesn't text you back, like, they don't, they didn't lose their phone, you know? Yeah. Uh, or, they, or they, like, they have really bad ADHD. Like and they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they, they continue like, living their lives. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Finn goes to it. <laughs> okay. I like this one. Uh, how to keep your relationship from getting boring. Interesting. I say break up a lot. <laughs> no. Just keep then it's rebooting. Always, reboot the series. Oh. Always exciting. No. No? No. It works. I think like don't. <laughs> but it doesn't in the end. But it doesn't work. <laughs> Just because like you're doing something like you don't have to keep doing it. So like if you're feeling like you're getting bored of a certain routine, like change it up. Like I feel like. Like, like give us examples. More? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Buy lingerie. This is like not something I like really struggled with, but uh, <laughs> go off. Yeah. Perfect human. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, like, just bored isn't the right word to, for like for me that I've ever identified. Maybe with. like, sp- I don't know. Spend more time doing your Replace own it. thing, or yeah, exactly. I think that's it. I like, think reconnect with your friends and with yourself, and then when you get to see your partner, then it's like more exciting get out of a routine totally yeah. if you're like, in a routine no like two people can only spend so much of their lives engrossed in each other yeah mm-hmm. and like i'm all about intimacy but like you gotta have other stuff going on because like yeah. it's just not good for you it's not good for your relationship like so i think that's that's good advice amy yeah. look at amy with the good amy advice came in <laughs> Like, focus on end. yourself uh. and if like that makes you like not like the person then maybe you don't like the person but yeah. if, if that makes you see yourself in different see them in different ways mm-hmm. then like that then you fixed it yeah totally. well maybe you just also don't see them as independent of you so that could fix everything and then also mm-hmm. i think not texting all the time is super key because yeah. then by the time if you live together by the time they come home at the end of the day of the day or if you go on a date they'll have actually something interesting to say that you haven't heard of totally like texting all day is literally the bane of relationships in yeah. my opinion no totally and don't move in too early fam oh yeah done it <laughs> <laughs> seems like a bad idea i've never done it no it's it a terrible idea right it's idea. a bad idea no it, it was a it was a bad idea yeah a lot of people do it though yeah 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 okay okay <laughs> yeah I'm just um like, oh, yeah <clears throat> okay this one is good i think is it worth waiting for someone who is currently emotionally unavailable? I would say no. No way. You yeah. have to take, like when you date someone, like, I, and I was like just giving my friend this advice, like you take them exactly as they are. Yeah. Like you can't change them. You can't like see potential in them. Like I was literally mm-hmm. like, potential doesn't exist. You like, can't grow them. People will change when you date them because people change all the time, but y- you can't, you date exactly who they are in like that moment. Mm-hmm. So if you don't like that, like. And also people don't change like that much. No that often and yeah and you're yeah it's just like you kind of always do a big myth revert back to like who you be i don't know i think people can definitely change no but they can change, I, you shouldn't but, like, wait on it because no like life is fleeting you never know when the next best person's right around the corner mm. like and if your mind is always thinking about this other person you're limiting yourself to all of these seven billion people out there yeah and if you're meant to be together you'll find each other when they're emotionally available yeah. but like don't don't wait no, don't. Don't wait. Don't wait. No waiting. <laughs> no waiting. <laughs> when do I say I love you? <laughs> I don't want to scare her away, but I really like her. Oh my god. I've said it so early, oh, you yeah. guys. Like how early? He, he, um like maybe honestly like a month or two into dating. That's not even that, not that early. Really? I don't not think. really? I okay, think it's, it's early, early, but early. I literally Googled it. I was like, is it too soon <laughs> to say I love you? And? And Google doesn't know. <laughs> That's stupid. Why would Google know? 
when, how what do you think? yeah um i think that i don't know like i feel like for me every time i've said it i've always like thought it so much before and it's yeah. always been like yeah. it's like I, I everyone i know too it's like burning it's like when do i say it like yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't like feel it and then say it no. like you feel no. it for a while and then you're like and then you google it okay yeah. and then also like feel the other person and like you know like if it's if it's looking mutual uh <laughs> that's key and yeah. then yeah yeah, I don't know. I think waiting till it accidentally comes out is like the best. Yeah. Because then you like know you mean it and it like you couldn't wait any longer. And then the other and then if it's too soon, then you can be like a joke. You can be like, oh, my God, did I just say that? You know what I mean? And then be like, I love it. And then it's kind of a cute inside joke. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Scary. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You'll you'll feel when it's right. Like, I think that like there's no too soon as long as little bit. your person is like on the That's same page. Of. I mean, they're okay. Amy's right. <laughs> there's like, be like too soon. Yeah. There well, I think totally the only, too soon. I think the only thing that could be too soon is if you say you love them, but you actually confuse it for just mm -hmm. like early on in the relationship when yeah. the honeymoon phase, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily love. I think that's too soon. Okay. Yeah. But, um, I think you like, sh I, don't know, I don't know. I don't want to give that, but like, it should be serious. Like maybe you've agreed to like date each other, like other, you know, like you're officially exclusive. going, you're exclusive yeah. and there's certain like things that just so like you are on the same page uh, so that you don't like get hit with the like, I like you too. Oh, Ooh, that painful. literally hurts. Yeah. Uh, literally uh, hurts. Terrible. Fuck. Terrible. Um, you've done like, that before. You've literally, I that was experience. Actually. You know have people it? that have happened to. Didn't Damn. that feel uh, like Yeah. I, that I, I felt like she <laughs> just said it to me right Here, now. But here's a, that happened to my parents. <gasps> so, and they're like very happily married and amazing. Oh my God. And when my Your mom first said it. parents have the most amazing story. They have a good origin story. I, I really like that one. story. But like basically my mom, like when they first, it was like, I love you. And my dad looked at her and he's like, I really like you too. And my mom was like livid about Ugh. it. And there she hated it. And my dad is just the guy's just like, I wanted to be so sure. And like, they've been married forever. I like, should be. You don't want to give him false hope. Yeah. And so I think that he was like, my mom was just feeling it at that time more. And then my, my, like uh, my, my, my dad is like, so obsessed with her. So it's a, uh, don't don't get your heart broken if if that happens. I don't know. It's kind of heartbreaking. Though, it's heartbreaking. So. <laughs> it could go the other way too. Yeah, uh, totally. But you know, it's good to just be honest. Like my dad didn't want to say something that he didn't quite mean yet, and I think that that's a good principle. Like I don't don't say it back if you don't mean it. That's that's even even, even as worse. brutal. Yeah, as, that would yeah. be honestly worse. It's like oh, I love you too, and then like a couple days later being like actually no. I don't. Yeah, I take <laughs> it's it like every, by the like, way. <laughs> Here's just wanted to let you know <laughs> i'd like to like every like hot boy in a high school movie is like i love you baby like let's sleep with me or like you know what i mean like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, like, yeah just like using just it as a using tool using it around like no no yeah no totally um ava thank you so much for being on dating straight <gasps> thank you so much for having me you are <laughs> what a dream your mind you are like yes. so like a therapist. A you are bit. kind of like a therapist. Yeah. You're kind of like a Shan booty. I, I sometimes think right? about kind of like that booty. I would enjoy being a therapist and like maybe maybe one day I'll go back oh to God. school. Sign me up. So fun. I'm in the market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we were gonna ask a haiku. Oh yeah. no, no, no. I don't I don't remember what the haiku yeah, is gonna be. I think we wanted you to sign off just mm -hmm. to for mm. closing remarks mm. to make a haiku. <laughs> about why we're not dating why you and amy yes. are dating tell, yeah yeah tell yeah. me in a in a haiku i just feel like we are i know we're not but i feel it's like it's five we seven are. five okay five, seven five i just know that wait i just know that we're not but i feel like we are okay five left five left wrap it up in love i don't know i don't know syllables i can't do syllables amy do it for me uh, in love i don't know <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Very good. It was the worst haiku ever. <laughs> Thanks for listening. And you wrote it for me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Amy Yodman. Like, I'm comment, subscribe. <laughs> Ava. <laughs> Ava, we're in the middle of our yeah. outro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go back. Oh, uh, follow Ava on oh, Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ava Do Palazzolo. <laughs> Two Z's. Okay. Thanks for listening. I'm Amy Oddman. I'm Jack Dodge. And, and this, this is Dating, Dating Straight. Straight. See, See you next Tuesday. Tuesday.